so now let's create the category list page and this will be the same that we did for our blog list so let's create a template file for that so the name of that will be the category list.js and inside that rfce and let's rename this and let's say that category list and also this c should be capital and here let's paste it so once we have that let's go to our Gatsby node so it will be similar that we did for our blog list here as you can see so let's copy and uh, paste it here and let's say that category list category list template and also here we need the category list So that's it once we have that uh, let me actually close the server here so after that here we need to do the same thing that we did for our blog list pages so now for that let's get a comment here let's say that category list pages and here first of all we need to get the total category pages so total let me actually uh, copy this whole thing and here paste it so now instead of total category uh, total block list pages it will be total category list pages and we will actually uh, get the length of our category categories so these categories we already have from our uh, previously queried uh, data as you can see so from the query we are getting the categories and we are actually getting the length of it and after that we are actually dividing it by posts per page which will give us the total pages for the category list and after that uh, we need to do the same thing we need to create an array from the length it should be the length so let me actually copy the variable name here this is the variable and it will be here so awesome and also uh, it will be same here so number of pages it will be same total category list pages and after that we need to change the path here so instead of blocks now it will be the categories and here also categories Cate. so awesome so also for the template instead of block template we will use category list template and that's it so now we are done for the node page so now we can reload our server so once our server is up and running uh, we can refresh this uh, categories page or we can so if i refresh this categories page we should see the category list which is fine which is a good sign so now inside this category list uh, first thing that we want to do is we want to query the category so based on our pagination we will do the query so let's do a page query once again so constant uh, export we need to export this query we we'll export constant category uh, list query equals to we need to grab the graphql from the Gatsby and inside that let's the uh, we will do the query so let's do the query so inside the query let's say that let's name it categories categories query so you can name it whatever you want and inside that we need to uh, specify the argument the dynamic value which will be the limit so it will be the integer and it is required and also the offset which will be the integer as well so and it will be required so once we have those we can go to inside the all sanity category and here uh, we need to actually sort this so we will sort this based on our created at so we can say fields and create a that and order this will be the descending order 
So once we have the sort, uh, we need to go to uh, after that, we need to do one more thing, which is the limit. So we will limit this query. Uh, the limit will be the limit that we have here. So the limit. So after that, we need to do a skip here as well. So the, the skip will be the offset. So offset variable. So offset like, like that. So once we have those filters, uh, after that, we can actually say for each of our nodes, we want to have the ID, the title, the slug, current, and also the raw description. like that so once we have the query as you can see that we are having something wrong in this query so let's see what we did wrong so here you can see that we did this mistake instead of colon it will be the comma so if i save that now it should be fine and also we did one more mistake this will be created at so created at so now it is fine as you can see that there is no error now we can actually uh, use the data so first of all let's actually console log and see what is actually coming back from this query so now if i refresh i should see the console log somewhere here so here it is so if i open this console log i should see the sanity category after that let's actually destructure all the things that we need so first of all beside this data we also need the page context and here inside that we need the current so constant current page and also we need the number of page equals to which will be coming from page context awesome so also we need to get the categories from our query so categories equals to data dot all sanity categories dot notes so that's it so first of all let's say that here we want to grab the seo seo provide the title here so the title will be the categories because that's a list page and import seo from we need to go to the components and seo like that so once we have the SEO, after the SEO, let's have the page space. And for the top, we will have the 80. And uh, for the bottom, we will have the 100. So here inside this page space, we will have our uh, D with the class of container. After that, inside this div of container, we'll have our page header. So page header. So page header. And uh, in this page header, we need to pass the title. So the title will be the all category. And also we need to pass a description. So description. So description will be, so let me copy some long if some text here and paste it here. So once we do, we need to import uh, page space and the page header. So let's do that. So import page space from, we need to go to the components and page space. So we need to do the same thing for our page header. So page header like that. So once we have those imported, we should see the page header working fine. So if I refresh here, I can see the page header is working fine. And also categories. This I should be after R like that. So working fine. And after that, uh, let's go to our category grid. So once we have the page header after the page header, let's use the category grid. So category grid. Here we need to pass the categories. So categories will be the categories that we have here. And we need to import our category grid. So import category 
grid from we need to import that from our category and category grid so that's it uh, once we have the category grid we can see the list of category for now it is three and uh, we need to show our pagination in the end of this page so let's do the pagination so let's say that after this uh, category grid first of all we check the number of pages so if we have more than one page in this case uh, in this case the pagination we want to show so pagination all right and uh, inside this pagination we are expecting current page so current page will be the current page and also uh, after that the number of pages will be the number of pages and finally base url in this case the base url will be the category like that so categories so base url categories number of pages the number of pages that we got from the page context and the current page will be the same that we got from the page context so pagination so we need to import this pagination here so import pagination from we need to go to the components and pagination like that and if i save now we should have the nice page as you can see so this is the page all categories where we have a uh, nice pagination in from the pagination we can see this is the page one from the two pages that we have so if i go to the next page i can see the two uh the next two categories as you can see so total we have uh five categories as you can see and uh we can see the pagination is working with that very fine and if i go to any of the if i go to any of the category i can see my single category which is working really nice so yeah we are done the list page for the categories